infantry shots here. I know I've disappeared for a while, but I'm now back. Just a bit, been a bit down in the dumps re recently, like, and depressed. Because of shit that has gone on and what I've been told, but nevertheless, I'm back with a video. And joined once again by Dairy Mike, aka Mike, aka Spastic, and, um... Today, we've got another vaping video for you guys. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, do you want to say what we're reviewing? Oh, oh should I? Today we are reviewing a mech mod, but I don't exactly know the name of it, so he can tell you. Yes. <laughs> Even though I'm still on my standard mod. Right, we are going to so... be reviewing this mech mod. This mech mod is made by Wizmech. Oh yeah, by the way, Wizmech in one of my videos, when we were reviewing their Squonka, Wizmech USA literally commented on my video saying, this was, it was a good um, video, great job. So I'm hoping that if they see this, because it's a Wizmech mech mod, that they might hit me up again, and hopefully I might be able to get sponsored by Wizmech. It would be a big help to me if I'm going to try and grow, just... So it'll make it easier. Okay, full disclosure. When I uh, upon buying this Wizmech, I did buy out of my own money. Yeah, again because I love wasting money on mods, mods. <laughs> and we don't have a sponsor, so that's just how it is. Oh. But this is a Wizmech RX Machina or um, Machina, however the hell you want to pronounce it. But when I did purchase it, it did not come with the standard uh, Wizmech RDA. RDA that comes with it in the packaging usually. For some reason, the, uh, the shop that I purchased it from didn't have it, even though they did. They said they did on the website. So they were selling it separately. Yeah, they but that's dicks about it. and they they overcharged me than what they said it was on the on the website. But that's beside the point. But here it is, the Wizmech <laughs> RX. Machania, Machania, Machana. Sorry, just call it Machana. Fuck it. Right. Oh, it's Machana. That's it. It's Machana. Like, um, Spanish or Machana. No, no. I don't fucking know. All right. So show the bottom of it, so they know it's was Mac, don't they? So it should say on the no, bottom. No, it, it says the person that designed um, it. That designed it, Jabo. Um, but the sure trigger button is really. The trigger Bushy. button is very, very nice. And I love it. And pushy the reason I chose this mech mod, I have done a lot of vaping on mech mods in the past. But that's and the best one we've used. I went, I, I just went over to regulate it, and then I just thought I wanted to go Try back to mechs. And um, the thing that stood out about this fucking mech mod, sorry, uh, there's some. Fucking that thing trying to attack me. Is that the button? Not sure if you can see, but isn't actually a button. It's literally just, it's just ho a hollow, hollow piece of metal. If you can hear that, and I might give you a better view there. Actually, see, you just push it up, and the idea of this mech mod was to have a fully moving battery inside of this uh, of this mech and um, a lot of people didn't like the concept I was a bit iffy about it to begin with I just thought if you've got a moving battery it's going to scratch the paint of your battery and it's going to short circuit there's going to be a lot of uh, blowing up with these mech mods but that's not the case and the reason that's not the case is that the diameter of uh, this can fit a 2700 battery, it can also uh, fit a 18650 battery, obviously with the adapter, as I am using an 18650 at the moment, yeah, nice little Wizmech on the side there, but um, as I was saying, the diameter of this is strange as it's designed in a way where you've always got about a centre of just a millimetre gap between the actual battery and the housing. I'm not sure if you can see the, the little gap just by there. So you'll never actually have the battery touch uh, the base of the mech mod, which I found very interesting. And 
you must think, well, it's going to rattle around, it's going to move around as it is a, a fully movable, uh, non-enclosed battery, and it's designed to be movable. Uh, but that's not the case. You won't be able to see, but on the inside of this, where the battery, uh, where the button is, sorry, there's actually a little dome shape, so it goes into a dome. And what that does, that keeps the battery in place from moving around too much to uh, decrease the rattle. So if that's pushing the battery, what's it pushing it into? And it's pushing it into the top part where you, obviously you keep your RDA on the other side there. And it's just a nice uh, resistant spring to prevent any misfiring. Um, and it's the first uh, mech mod that I've actually seen that have had the contact on top rather than at the bottom, which I thought was unique and um, it was a lot different, a lot different to what I was used to when I did used to uh, use mech mods quite a bit. But all around, it is a really good, really good quality. Uh, mech and a uh, vape which you would um, you would expect from uh, Wizmech. Um, I've had a lot of Wizmech products. The I've Stronker, RX200, yeah. RX300. And I, I've never ever had problems with them and props to who was it? Jabo. But Jabo, you're the ones that you're the one that came it's up with the concept. Company, I think. You're the ones that came up with the concept of the mech, and you clearly knew what you were doing. With mech, as always, with just an a, an amazing vapor. I don't know what I can say. I'm gutted that I can actually get the original RDA for RDA it. For it. Um, so I could uh, do a review on that, but obviously I'm limited to the amount of money I make, which isn't a lot. Um, and I got a lot of other things that I do spend my money on, <clears> so whatever i can i will buy new uh vapes and mods and that until we do get a sponsor so we can carry on making these videos but other than that like it's it i i've just been blown away with the cloud production for one um it doesn't heat up too much which has often been a problem with me my last mech mod blew up on me which is why i went over to regulate it again um but i felt ballsy and i Bought this and it's not let me down since I bought it. Not yet. <clears throat> but there might not be many videos still, as I'm currently looking for work myself so I can actually afford certain things for my YouTube channel. Like, I want to get myself a computer for my own room just so I can get a better editing software. Um, I might even start doing a side part of my channel for gaming, maybe. Because like, I'd like to do gaming again. I, uh, gaming and vaping is just <laughs> the passion I follow. And if you guys would like that, just let me know. And Wizmech, yet yeah, again, thanks for the comment. I really did not expect it this early yeah, we into were both blown away YouTube. By it. When I seen it, I was like... That is mad. I did not expect one Wizmech video that goes up with a squonker on there, the new one, that I'd get a reply off of them or a message, even a, even a comment. But it just hit me so quickly. I was like, sort of not starstruck, um, just a bit hit for te like hit for six. Just did not expect it at all. It was just really nice to see that people do actually watch my videos that are in other vaping companies as well. So, you never know. Might get lucky, might be able to get sponsored, but it's too early down the line, I'd like to think. Yeah, and um, the flavour that I've got, um, well, as I don't have the original idea, like I said, I have been using my Bonza. Um, Bonza, which has been working like a charm so far, as you've seen me vape on it. And the flavour I am using is uh, Topical Sweet and Sour Mango Sweet and Sour. I think I have, we have done a review on this before. I believe so. On um, this channel. Um, so I'm not going to get too into the flavour. It is 70 VG and 30 PG. Um, which, you know, it's just standard. 
um, standard for me to vape on, and it it it, it tastes banging um, in your. But I, I'm more impressed with the performance and the cloud production that you get of just just such a small little stick basically like if you compare that to my hand it's it's tiny i know this mod isn't probably a good comparison but just so you get it it, it is tiny and that's one of the smaller mods we have so yeah it, it really is a small small compact mod but the cloud production is big That's just from an 18650. Imagine if it was the bigger battery, which is two. The 2700. Yeah, 2700. It could force more power through the. Yeah, as you'll pin. have um, more volts uh, going through the battery, as it will be a bigger battery, and it'll have uh, uh, more amp that it can put into the uh, triggering of it, uh, producing more clouds, bigger clouds, and um, ju just better performance all year round, basically. Oh, and just so, uh, side note, just so you don't think that we're in a park or anything, we're actually at the back garden of... Yeah, we're at my back garden. We've moment. done one down the, uh, video down there. Um, I've got a swing up in the corner. It's quite jungly up here. Yeah. It's um, just so you don't think we're in a park or anything. We got like a lush. That. We got a lush view of the sea over there. It's quite nice. Uh, um, but yeah, it's just a really nice place to do videos. I find very relaxing. But if any of you would like to know, like the bad news that has hit me, don't feel obliged to ask. Because if I feel like I'm able to say, then I will. But I won't say on a video because. It just looks like I'm looking for sympathy, but I'm really not. I'm just trying to do what I can now with my life to the best of my ability, because the army have sort of let me down, but not a lot else I can do about it. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to now build a platform, uh, build a, what do you want to call it, an audience for my channel, so more people come into this channel, more people will actually want to view my videos. Oh yeah, and um, let us know if you want us to start doing less so vaping and more blogging, because this was meant to be a vaping blog uh, Just having a channel. Chance. We haven't had the chance to do many vlogs at all, but if you guys want to see some vlogs uh, from us, whilst we're just out vaping, just doing what we usually do, uh, let us know. But I should be going on holiday this year if I can get the money together because <coughs> I actually want to go over to Spain in uh, Tenerife for a week and just like relax, not really have to think about money, just drink basically booze <laughs> and just chill, vape and have a nice time because I, I really need to have a nice time after the bad news I've had. But, like I say, looking for work at the moment is a pain in the ass. It always is. Yeah, you can see the smoke going behind us. Yeah, I know. And the reason I, um, I, I, I picked my back garden, because, um... You did it in the bedroom. From doing it once in my bedroom and doing it in the vape store, and managing the hotbox, both of them, within literally the minutes. first <laughs> two, three minutes of the video, I decided... We can't really hotbox Mother Nature, so well, we can try. <laughs> well, we have before. We hotbox the little forestry area we go to normally. Lovely flavour. I'm actually thinking of getting one of those when I when I got a job because it's just a pain in the ass. But I may even do my SIA card, which is my security license. So I'll be on about eleven pound maybe more an hour for just working security at bars so the more money I get and the more hours I put in through the day I could say put put a video out if I got time or on the weekend I could throw a video out I'd have to come up with some sort of schedule when I'm not working so I can make sure then you guys have got content too much for you I can do some of the editing 
to solve this. I probably find a way to deal with it all. But I just don't want people to think I'm looking for sympathy because I'm really not. Just shit happens in life, and you got to make the best of both worlds. What happened has happened, but I'm gonna do best I can to try and appeal against this so I can get into the army. But if it doesn't work, then I'm stuck in civilian life. Not that it's bad. It's just that. Last six years of my life has been put into the military state. Ten years. Yeah, maybe. Well, that's basically all it is. Uh, all there is to it. I forgot to mention with the Wizmech, you. Uh, I I don't think I don't even remember what I got in the bag. I can't think. Off the top of my head, what I could have got apart from an instruction manual, considering it did not come with the RDA, so the RDA parts I don't think they would have included. We got the battery part of it, like to keep the eighteen six fifty in. Yeah, but that's just standard it. inside yeah. of um, that that just comes don't, inside. Aren't they supposed to give you like a spare trigger pin just in case your one breaks or you lose it or whatever? Uh, yeah, I think that's. All that I came with, a spare pin that I can replace, but don't quote me on that. Um, I'm not 100%. I didn't uh, think to <clears> take <throat> too much notice into packaging. As I never it take notice of that. As it didn't come with an RDA, if, it, if I bought it with one, I would have obviously had more of a reason to look into the packaging, but because it didn't, and it, th that's... The bottom part is like all it came with, just that I didn't think too much uh, was needed for me to go in. This is creepy shit. If I do end up getting a new mod though, if you'd like me to do uh, a box opening I mean, of the mod, I can do that. It just depends obviously when it gets delivered to my house or if I buy it at a store. But most of the time, I will decide to buy online because I can read reviews, I can read the specifications of it. I don't just go into a vape store on someone's advice. And also, let us know what mods you'd actually want us to review. We can um, look around to try and uh, tr try our best to get it out as soon as possible. And as soon as we do have the mods, we'll do a review on it. But that is uh, two different mods. Uh, if would be uh, preferred so H can do his review I can do my review then we can wrap up the video or you know just uh, j just any mod suggestions let us know yeah. in the comments. I'm, I'm always up for suggestions of videos like say you wanted us to go to and do something like outside of our comfort zone instead of staying in our local areas I would be quite happy doing that <clears throat> but it's just about getting there so I've got, I'm going to be doing, like, my driving license soon and everything. I'm just trying to do all the things that I was supposed to be doing when I got into the forces now. So I've got something. But yeah, that was, that's the video for today. I know it's not the longest video that well, we've ever done. It's almost 20 minutes. Not the longest video we've ever done, though. 32, yeah. maybe 40 minutes, which is that longer. <laughs> On my channel, it's probably the longer videos. Yeah. But this is MW3 Shots. Dairy Mike. And we're signing off. Peace. Peace.